This little drone right here is the DJI Mi, 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 DJI v Mi, DJI Mini 3 Pro. I've had this now for quite some time, a few months. And in today's video, I am gonna tell you guys exactly my feelings about it, what I like, is there something that I dislike, and uh, all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, 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 Karla Fretta! My name is Arla Lurin, I'm a photographer and a video creator from Iceland. Oof, it's been a while, you know, since I did that little intro. Anyways, I leave timestamps down below so you can easily jump to the like position of the videos interest with the most. You know I'm not here to waste your time, but let's start by talking about like why did I get the DJI Mini in the first place. So, my DJI 2 Mavic 2 Pro, it actually fried. Uh, it had already started to be a little bit wonky because all of the uh, volcano shots I was getting with it, but it 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 got kaput, you know, got a little gishmecked. So I was looking for a new drone and I was thinking about getting the Mavic 3. I've heard only good things about it. It's like absolutely fantastic and the quality of it is, what I've seen is insane. Then I heard that this little drone was coming and I decided to wait and, and see a little bit what it was offering and then had to ask myself, a pretty important question. And that question was basically, what am I gonna use this drone for? It's so easy to get into, you know, buying all this, the latest, greatest, and the best, although this is the latest in this category, but the best possible thing. And I came to the conclusion that what I'm mostly filming or only filming nowadays is YouTube videos for this channel or Instagram content or TikTok content or whatever. Online content for myself on my own channels. So it's very important for me to have a portable thing and then something that works and it's just like on the go and it does not have to be like the best quality ever. So I decided to pick up this little drone here. It is incredibly small, like incredibly small. It, it fits in your pocket, you know, that's absolutely insane. And uh, okay, I'm getting tired holding, holding the camera like this, so let's go on the floor and talk more, okay? All right, so welcome to the floor. You don't need awesome setups, just put the camera on the floor and talk, you know? So, <laughs> good YouTube advice. We were talking about I was tired, and yes, I didn't need the best possible quality. So, yeah, that's basically why I decided to go with this drone. Now, am I happy with it? Um, well, honestly, yes. Like, incredibly happy with it. It's, um, like, I filmed a whole lot with it. For filming, it's super, super good. By the way, all these clips that I'm throwing up here are just shot in full auto. I know I've just been lazy with it, but like for the type of content I'm doing, it just matters that I get some cool shots for the story, you know? But you could, of course, uh, you know, go with uh, like full manual and get better uh, shots, more cinematic shots, you can definitely do that. But video-wise, I've been incredibly, you know, happy with it. Also that it is so light and it takes up so little space, super crucial for me, I'm always on the go, so it, it's easy to take it up and just flying. Also because it's like under 100 and 250 grams, then you can fly it in most regions without you know having some sort of permit, which I think is nice uh, too. The photo aspect of it too, it can, uh, and yeah, by the way, you might notice I didn't talk about all the specs for video, I'm not super, you know, geeky when it comes to tech and all that stuff, so I don't really know, it's easy for you to look at, you know what, I'll throw it up on the screen here, and uh, yeah, <laughs> you can take a look for yourself. So for photography, it can actually take 48 megapixels photo, which I think is pretty cool. So it's really detailed shots and I've really enjoyed it for photography. Also the fact that you can, you know, the little fact that you can flip the cap. Also the little fact that the gimbal, you can see here, it can turn like this, so it goes from catch focus, catch focus, come on, come on catch focus, there. It can go from here to here, so you can flip it to vertically. It's incredibly good in my opinion. Some people might think it's just a gimmick, but for me, absolutely not, because I'm filming a whole lot of things for vertical video platforms, whether it's Instagram or TikTok, but also when it comes to just straight up photography, I like to just be able to take vertical photos like this. A lot of my photos are vertical, and what I was doing in the past on the other like drones, I was taking a photo, like turning this, and then take, taking a photo in the middle, and then tilting the gimbal a little bit up. So I took three different photos and then I stitched them together in Photoshop. But now, 
just with a click of a button and it turns around super convenient super nice and i really much enjoy that so all in all i've been super happy with it i don't know if there's anything like uh, more to say about it now you might be wondering also um is it like because it's so small is it good for wind in my opinion i've had it in pretty strong windy conditions in iceland when you're flying with it it's okay but with it, when it's still it can be have a little hard time you can see here in this photo it gets a little uh, video i mean little uh, shaky like this but once you're flying i think it's pretty decent of course it can't stand as much wind as a bigger drone but peter lindgren did like <laughs> did like a test where it you, you can see it here absolutely ridiculous and it stood the this test you know it passed that test so it's 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 pretty good in that sense you know the flight time do you say a flight time the in-air time <laughs> like how much you can fly it before you have to like change batteries it's also pretty decent i think you can get around uh, 30 minutes or something like that and then they're coming out with a battery if they haven't come out the battery already they're just gonna push it up to uh, 45 minutes plus which is pretty cool so yeah all in all i'm like been incredibly happy with it for the last few months the fact that it's so portable, it can flip the camera, it, the quality is good enough for all the things that I'm doing. The, for photos, it's also good. And again, it's just so freaking small. I'm incredibly, like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. This is not paid by any means. I wish DJI would sponsor me. I've been like trying to reach out to them. They're not sponsoring me already, but I just really enjoy this little product. Now, is there anything bad about it? No, no, I'll be thinking, is it just good? Now, nothing is perfect. But in all honesty, for what it is, then there is nothing bad I can say about it. If, like, if you expect to get this tiny drone and you're getting, you know, like incredible cinema Hollywood footage, then you're like, that's just wishful thinking. It's not going to give you that. Could you use this drone drone for a client shoot? Um, yeah. If you are, yeah, always yes in Icelandic. If you are you know, doing social media work or anything like that. I think it's, you can definitely use it for that. But if you're doing like bigger productions, then I mean, then I think that's, that's the worst for thinking. <laughs> then you should go with more bigger, more expensive drones. But for all things content related, um, it's gonna be good enough. And it's so freaking small. Again, it's tiny and so lightweight. It's under 250 grams, which is, I mean, that's, no, oh, that's just nuts. So yeah, that's it for me today. If you could smack that like button for me, it really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. You know that your uh, support, it always really means the world to me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Yeah, if you have any questions, did I say that? Feel free to ask in the comments down below. Catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.